the Utility tool allows you to easily add borders, outlines, and more to objects. In this case, we created a circle with a fill to show off what the utility's function can do. To access the Utility tools, select the shape, right-click, and choose Utility. Under Utility, you can create a border, an outline, nap blockers, and more. If you click on Create Border, a satin stitch border will automatically be created around your fill stitch. If you want to create an outline around your shape, you can right-click, select Utility, and Create Outline. This will prompt a dialog box that allows you to change the distance of the outline. You can then convert to any stitch you'd like by right-clicking and choosing a stitch type. If you have an object with jagged edges, you can use the Simplify option under the Utility menu to smooth out the edges. Under this menu, you can also create a nap blocker, which allows you to create a knockdown stitch that reduces the nap in textured fabrics. This allows you to stitch over a smooth surface and prevents your stitches from sinking into textured fabric like terry cloth. Let's take a look at how the nap blocker tool is used with lettering. First, type in the lettering you wish to embroider. Then, right-click, select Utility, and select Create Nap Blocker. Now, choose the spacing around the lettering and click OK. When you break apart the elements, you'll see that the nap blocker is a low-density fill stitch underneath the element. This will create a smooth surface for you to embroider on.